You ever find yourself doing some online shopping, you see a pop-up offering you a discount, but you don't want to be inundated with spam emails by entering in your real email? Well, Evap Mail is a super clean application that lets you create disposable email accounts for this very purpose. You just copy the email address provided by the app, paste it into the site asking for your email, and then back in the app, you come over to this inbox page, and then you wait. Within moments, you'll receive the email with your discount code, and away you go. The app also supports receiving attachments, and you can even switch between multiple accounts, which is amazing. Second up today is Bluetooth camera shutter. And given that I've just recently switched to the S25 Ultra, which no longer lets us snap pictures with the S Pen, thanks to its Bluetooth getting removed, well, this app is just about the next best option. You just open it on whichever phone that you want to act as the remote, then tap to enable, then hit allow, then on the phone that you want to act as the camera, you just go into its Bluetooth settings, connect to the phone, and there you go. You can now open the camera app on your chosen phone and press the shutter button wirelessly using the first device. Another feature that I'm missing now that I've moved on from my Pixel 9 Pro is the Pixel Screenshots app. But thankfully, there's a super solid third-party alternative called Pixel Shop. When you first open the app, it'll take some time to analyze every single screenshot stored on your phone, but once complete, the app works surprisingly very much like the original Pixel Screenshots app in that each screenshot will get its own AI summary, which then lets you use text-based prompts to search through your screenshots really fast and with incredible accuracy. You can also create your own collections, you can add notes to screenshots. The only thing that's missing from the original app is that you can't create reminders related to your screenshots. So hopefully that'll get added in the not too distant future. Okay, whilst I love Android's built-in QR code scanner and that it's easy to access at a moment's notice, aside from that, the feature set is fairly limited. And so that's where QR Friend comes in because not only is it super fast, but it's also way more feature packed. Now I like to set mine up with a quick toggle using the quick tiles app, but from there, as you can see, we get a very clean interface for scanning our QR codes. We can also switch to the front facing camera, which is super handy. You can also enable a setting that forces the app to scan links to ensure that they're safe. And then perhaps my favorite feature is that you can access a complete history of every single QR code that you've ever scanned. And for me, this feature is the absolute bomb. After that is CPDT Benchmark. And if you're looking for a super simple way to measure the speed of the various storage components on your device, well then this app is one of the better no nonsense options available. You just tap test and there you go. The app will start performing a series of benchmark tests that will allow you to see how fast the storage on your phone is. And that's kind of it. Simple, but effective. All right, before we press on, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Wondershare Recover It. And if you've ever had that heart stopping moment of losing an important file or document, well, Recover It is here to save the day. And the best part is that it's incredibly versatile and super easy to use. You just select where you lost your file, let Recover It scan the drive, and it'll then show you any files available for recovery, which you can then go ahead and restore. And it actually boasts a staggering 99.5% success rate in terms of being able to recover files. There's also these video and photo restore features that allow you to recover files from cameras or even repair corrupted files. And I've actually used Recover It in the past to repair video clips that were corrupted. I've also used it to recover files that I accidentally deleted off an SD card. And so I can personally attest that the software actually does work. It is an essential tool that can genuinely save the day. So to try out Wondershare Recover It, use the first link down in the description below. Okay, halfway down the list and next up is SyncThing Fork. And if you saw the announcement last year stating that the super popular SyncThing app was no longer being supported and you freaked out, well then fear not because this forked version is still being actively developed and by many accounts, it's even better than the original. Now, if you haven't heard of SyncThing before, then in short, it's an incredible app that allows you to sync files and folders across multiple devices completely for free. So for example, I can set it up to sync this documents folder on my S25 Ultra here to any other device that I like. And once it's all set up, anytime any item is added or deleted or edited or updated in any way, within literally seconds, those changes will be reflected and synced across on my other devices. It takes a little bit of practice to get your head around the setup process, but once you have, it can be an absolute game changer of an application. And then speaking of apps that can be found on GitHub, Dio Hub is an open source unofficial mobile client for the GitHub platform itself. And it's actually got a super clean design. 
Any of your own activity can be viewed on this homepage here, but then you can come over to this search page to explore GitHub's huge library of repositories. And look, obviously my app is pretty empty because I'm not actively developing on GitHub, but it's super handy nonetheless, and I can definitely see myself using it even just for research purposes going forward. Following that is Apo Reborn KWGT. And it's been a while since I've featured a KWGT pack on the channel, but there are two main reasons that I wanted to feature this one. Firstly, it's just a really slick pack of widgets with over 100 unique designs supported at the time of making this video. And you may notice that each of them have a very Apple-esque design language, which I reckon looks seriously beautiful on my Nothing Phone 2A here. But then secondly, if you happen to check out that iOS 18 setup video that I made at the back end of last year, and you're wanting a way to replicate it on your Android phone, well, thanks to Widget 101 from this pack, you can do exactly that. You can find everything else you need to recreate the entire setup within my app palette. I'll link that specific setup below. And if you know your way around Tasker, then you can even use a custom Tasker intent that I made to switch the entire theme at the tap of a button. Not bad. All right, second to last today is an app called Express Cleaner. And let me tell you folks, I recently had a mini heart attack when I saw that I had literally run out of storage on my Pixel 9 Pro, because you guessed it, it is the 128 gigabyte version. And whilst there are all sorts of cleaner style apps available on the Play Store, most of them are pretty scammy and don't really work that effectively. But Express Cleaner seems to buck that trend. You can perform a quick scan to clean up unnecessary files taking up space, like all of these old APK files here, or you can use the inbuilt file manager to get a really easy to understand overview of what's taken up space on your phone and then clean it from there. There's also a bucket load of additional tools and features available, and the app just has a very clean interface to go with. And then finally today is CineSwipe. And if you're looking for an effective way to discover and track movies and TV shows this year, well then this might just be the app for you. When you first launch it, the app will ask you a bunch of questions to get an insight into the sort of films and TV shows that you like. But then once you're actually into the app, you'll see this discover page and you can switch it to show movies or TV content, depending on what recommendations that you're after. From there, you can open up any film or TV show to view details about it and add it to your watch list. You can also come over to this TikTok-like feed of clips. And then there's also this swipes page, which lets you quickly scan through film and TV show recommendations, which you can then swipe into a do not recommend pile or into a add to watch list or I've already watched this pile. It truly is a feature packed app. And if you consider yourself a bit of a film or TV buff, then you've definitely got to check it out. But that's it, 10 amazing Android apps that I reckon you should definitely try out. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. But that's it, thank you all very much for watching, and I will catch you later.